I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right, after Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV, fellas, I want y'all to chime in for your boy one time, all right? I'm having this conversation with my girlfriend. Um, by the way, we're celebrating six months recently. Having this conversation with my girlfriend. And we're, we're, we're kind of all split. We kind of split right down the middle on this. And I want my, my fellas to chime in. Ladies, of course, if you subscribe to your boy, your comments are always welcome. But I know who y'all going to side with. So I want my fellas to chime in as well. But it's open for everybody. We're talking about this T.I. Tiny situation, right? All right. So I'm not going to really just... Give every detail because I feel like y'all already know it by now. All right, let's put this in perspective. T.I. Swung on Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather is not just a normal guy, all right? This is the undisputed 49-0 champion of the world. What do you mean, undisputed 49? The man has never lost a fight. And he's arguably the best defensive fighter ever. Now, I'm not going to say he's the best fighter ever again. Muhammad Ali, I can name a few people. Mike Tyson in his prime, Sugar Ray Leonard. I won't tell you that Floyd Mayweather is the best fighter of all time. You ain't going to hear that from me. But could we argue that he is the best defensive fighter of all time? Yes, we could. What does that mean, Telefero? Well, that means you can't hit him. The reason why he has been able to sustain so many victories is not because he's knocking people out. It's because he's able to... to to, to defensively stop you from hitting him. That's what he's made a living on. Um, with that being said, um, me and my girlfriend are talking, and we're having this conversation. T.I. swung on Floyd Mayweather. At that point, you an enemy of mine. You an enemy of mine. Forever. I pulled up on that man. I risked everything. That man could have whooped my ass. Period. Just to, just to be honest about it. That man could have whooped my ass. And I pulled up on him for our love, for our relationship, because I felt like he disrespected our relationship. So, Tiny, the news has come out that she's, um, you know, she got to TMZ and was like, I only took the picture with Mariah Carey and Floyd Mayweather because I did it for, I did it for Mariah. She's the queen. I did it for her. You don't tell the queen now. That's what she said, right? I ain't even try to talk like her to be too difficult. But that being said, we can't. We seen the footage. That wasn't the case. You didn't just take a picture with Mariah, with Floyd. You were seen dancing, grooving, grinding, and all that other stuff. Y'all was stepping in the name of love for all I seen. We seen the footage. And you could tell by the guy who recorded this. Again, y'all know I work with cameras all day of my life. The guy was so sneaky in the cut recording this. You can tell, in my opinion, this looked like some shit that was planned. It looked like you two planned to see each other at this damn venue, at this damn party, all right? First and foremost, I'm going to tell you right now, if me or my girl attend a party where we know the opposition, the enemy, the ops is going to be at, there's a problem right there, period. You don't disrespect your partner like that and kick it with the enemy. Here's what me and my girl are having a, a disagreement about, and I want y'all to chime in on this. She's saying, if let's just live, let's just roll with the fact that Ti was a faithful man throughout the relationship to Tiny. We'll roll with that. We'll say that. If Tiny was just caught dancing with Floyd Mayweather, she's saying that's not enough for Ti to divorce Tiny. They got kids together. They got reality television shows together. She's saying that's not enough to divorce Tiny. I'm saying, yes, the hell it is. Now, I'm going to be fair and argue her side of it. She's saying that it's enough to put you on the couch for four or five weeks. But she's saying it's not enough to break up with a person. You, you have the right to be mad, but is it really worth ending your marriage over? She's saying no. Now, here's my side to this. If you felt like our marriage wasn't enough for you to stay away from my enemy, and um, if you had to get a dance from somebody, there are 7 billion people on this earth. 
You couldn't pick one other person. You had to pick the person that I'm notarized. I'm known for being beefing with. I think that our our relationship, our marriage, whatever it is at the time, I think is over emphatically. And I don't even think it's a conversation. If we got kids, I'm coming for them kids. Period. I don't think you make smart decisions. If my marriage wasn't enough to you, where you thought that it would be cool to have a relation with my enemy, meaning I thought it was us against the world, type or did it ain't us against the world because you cooling with my op. You see, because now what Floyd Mayweather can do, T.I. can joke about him. He can post videos with Kevin Hart roasting Floyd Mayweather, dad, and using his name and checks. But at the end of the day, Floyd Mayweather always got that one up. He can look at T.I. Well, he ain't even got to look at him. T.I. got to live with this the rest of his life. Floyd, probably telling T.I. or just thinking this, T.I., you can come to me. You can come try to get at me. You can try to fight me in Vegas. You can try to post videos about me saying I can't read. Knock me for my comments on Black Lives Matter. But what I got on you is that your wife mentally can't stay away from me. I run your family, your wife. I don't know if she digmatized or what it is. I don't even know if it got that far. But I got one up on you for the rest of your life. Your wife can't stay away from me. And you got to live with that. Your wife can't stay away from me. You can make jokes all you want, but you ain't got enough money than me. And your family, your wife, your, your most important jewel, when it's all said and done, she going to find a way to see me. So I want you to comment what side of the fence you are in that argument. Very good debate question. These are the conversations that we have on my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Um, you get conversations like this. If you're new to my channel, this is what we talk about. We talk about things like the radio station we talk about. Because Mr. Teleferro is... Has a big announcement soon, and then it'll, it'll be clear in the future. So you'll see why we have conversations like this now. I'm going to start something up soon. With that being said, if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? You, you, you subscribe to everything else. You're going to put that comment somewhere else on Instagram, on Facebook, or somewhere else. Why not have it in my, my blog where everybody else is talking about it? 32,000 other people are talking about it. I'm out for Teleferro. I go by the name of, um, I represent that Mr. Teleferro TV. Thank you for the time, love, and support. Salute. Hey, first and foremost, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love if you watch other videos while you're on my YouTube channel. Now, while you're here, people ask me all the time, how can you support Mr. Teleferro? Well, if you want to support me in my future endeavors, the first thing I want you to do is subscribe to my channel. If you subscribe to my channel, you get all my content first. Your subscribe goes a long way. I get to understand my demographics, understand who support me, who got something out this video. So first things first, a subscribe will go a long ways. Next, if you really rock with me, donate a dollar to my GoFundMe. I have a GoFundMe link in the description. If you really want to support me, just a dollar. Showing me that a dollar and some good wishes will go a long way. If you want to support me and you want to help me with my travels, I got a lot of things coming up, but I got to get them travel fees there. I got to find a way to get there. So that can help me financially if you really want to go there. Also, a word of encouragement. Thank you. Whatever it is, talk to me in my comment box below. Comment on this video. Like, subscribe, do whatever you got to do this video. I got to thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. My name is Mr. Teleferro. Now, if you subscribe, help, donate, do whatever, you can see more videos like this, more new exclusive content. I got a lot on the way. Trust me. Thank you. It's Mr. Teleferro.com.